Hi, I'm Aaron with PRP Seats, and today we're going to put some seats in this Can-Am X3. Can-Am designed these seat mounts with a lot of great options. They've got a really nice slider built in, they've given you a couple different height options. So we're going to get started here with installing some PRP seats in one of these. Um, it's not too bad to get to. You got a, uh, on your stock seat, this bottom seat cushion just Velcros in. So you're just going <clears> to, <throat> you're just going to pop that off, set it aside. So once you pull off that seat cushion, you'll see you have four 13 millimeter bolts here. So grab a ratchet or an in wrench and just pull these four out. Now I've already pulled this seat out once, but the tricky part about getting this seat out is Can-Am ran the seat slider adjuster handle through this slot. You can either cut this piece of plastic and just pull the seat out, or pull this whole seat rail off, turn it sideways, and then slide the seat off of this, off of this arm. So now that we have the seat out, and we're gonna put a suspension seat in here, PRP suspension seat, we found that the to get the best ride angle with our seats would be to put the rear in the high position, which means you're gonna put this aluminum spacer under the seat slider, and then take the front of the seat slider mount and drop it to the lowest position. This kind of levels out the seat slider because all the PRP seats already have 12 degrees of recline built into them, which is the optimum seating position for an off-road race vehicle. <clears throat> You're now gonna take the PRP mount that you got, set that down. You're gonna line up the four holes on two on each side here, two on this slider, two on this slider. Remember that if they don't line up, these sliders act independently. So you may need to roll one forward or back to get them to line up. When you place this down, you want to make sure that the tab for your crotch belt is facing up and the reinforcement bend that we did is facing down. Line up those four and start them with your fingers to make sure you've got it right before you start ratcheting any of them tight. Once you've, once you've got that down, you want to slide this into the all the way up front position. And now you want to grab your PRP seat and set it in here. There's four holes on threaded holes in the bottom of the seat and they're going to line up with these slotted holes we have here. And you're going to want to, once you set the seat in there, you'll reach from underneath here and slide the bolts. Here's an example. You'll just slide the bolts up through here to line them up with the holes on the bottom of the seat. So let's do that now. So since we designed our Can-Am mount to work with both the old 800-900 style razor seats and the new 1000 razor seats, uh, to keep it simple, um, your, your, your seat is going to come with a rear pull that's not necessary for the Can-Am. It also may come with two of these one inch square tubes, also not necessary for use on the X3. So just go ahead and remove those and plan on not using them. I found that if you take the seat slider and slide it all the way forward, then place the seat in, it's a lot easier to get to the mounting holes underneath. So you're going to take these quarter 20 bolts, you're gonna kind of get down underneath here. First, you wanna look through the side and make sure that the, the slot on the plate is lined up with the nut that's welded to the bottom of the seat. And then you're gonna reach under here and get all, get all four started. Once you have, <clears throat> once you have uh, one started, the rest of them line up a little easier. The toughest one to get to is obviously the back rear corner. But once you have that tightened down, the seat's ready to go.